Yo, what's up guys, Network here. Today we're gonna to be going over actually quite a bit of PVP sets. I got five made, I'm pretty excited about them to talk about them. The first one's gonna be just a, a PVPer who's able to farm badges. This one is gonna be pretty popular, I think more popular than the other ones. Like the set I want, I don't think is very realistic for most people, which is why I think sets like this are important. And I'm just gonna go over it quickly and then we'll, we'll go to the next set. But so the first thing, is quad death blow goggles they're insane that's a pattern that drops out of sunwell it'll be cheap in like a week so don't really worry about that if it's expensive right now eventually you'll be able to get it it's amazing so that's going to be something especially as an undead this is going to give you an advantage against humans if they don't find you because your detect is going to be a little bit better uh the next one aquarium choker another item as long as you're a jc which you should be a jc at this point and if you're not you're trolling so become a jc um then we're going pvp gear Another thing to note is this 24 attack power gem is actually 32 attack power. It's something in JC. I think you need Consortium Revered. It's not too difficult to do, but it's a pretty nice uh, boost for being a JC. So if you didn't know that, you now know. Dory's Embrace is just a great option if you are unlucky and TK never dropped a cloak. And we're just PvPing. So we're not even going to worry about PvE gear right now. But yeah, so Dory's Embrace is fine. But obviously, if you can get Unforgiven Sin or Thalassian, do it. Um, next one, Guardian Dragonhide Bracers. It, I mean, the crit's a little bit better than the Leather Bracers. Uh, I hate getting the Dragonhide pieces, but just stats-wise, it's better. Uh, I messed up on my last video because a lot of people were like, Bull Network, you're wrong about that. And I was like, yeah, I guess you're right. Like, when you break it down, this is just a little bit better. Um, but ideally, I would say get Slayers. I don't think that's going to be too hard. But like I said, we're not PVEing. Shut up, Network. We're not PVEing. Okay. Uh, next step. I'm going to go maces on most of my guys. I'm a big fan of the top end, especially because I run double DPS. It doesn't actually matter. It all averages out to being the same. Um, but you could also go swords because they're so freaking cool. I'll definitely have swords on my humans or one of my human at least because just look how awesome that is. It's just so freaking awesome. Uh, the next one, we got PvP gloves, 15 agility. This is a nice little thing they're adding to the badge vendor. It's going to cost you 75 badges, but you don't need to worry about farming money belt anymore. And it's a pretty substantial upgrade to Belt of the Deep Shadow. So this is going to force you to farm 75 for oak badges. I don't think that's that difficult. You play an MMO, um, just do it. I don't want to hear an excuse. Next one, we got Brutal Gladiator Legs. Sweet. Uh, we got Guardian Boots. Guardian Boots are really good. Obviously, like I said, if you could farm Shadow Masters or Slayers, do it. Ninja Tabbies aren't... I mean, they're good for PvE, but you don't really need a hit in this build at the moment. So it's fine. Uh, the next one, this is a BOE, Hardcore and Band, pretty awesome. We'll pick that up. That's a, another BOE, just some gold. I think you can make it to. I don't know where the pattern drops. Don't ask me that question. It's just, we'll all figure it out eventually. The next one is this ring. It's from Heroic Badges. You'll need 60. You could also do Zulam on chest. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid PVE, and badges are easy to do because you can get Karazhan, Gruel, Mag, um, and, and just do your daily heroic every day and eventually you have everything But uh, if you have already the high jaw ring, this is better I would have this high jaw ring, but I'm trying to prevent you from PVEing. So this is this is going to be the move If you don't want to farm exalted high jaw rep The next one is shadow song panther. This gets upgraded now. So it's epic pretty awesome um, It's just gonna be our, our best trinket. You can use it in stealth. It's you know, if you have Berserker's Call, that's cool, but just as a rogue, especially running Goggles uh, as an undead, this is going to give us a little bit of an edge on other players that run, let's say, Hypervision or the people that are running four-piece, four-piece. So I think that's kind of cool. It gives us a, a slight edge in the stealth game, which, you know, can make a huge difference. Uh, and then obviously the new 45 Resilience Trinket that came out, which costs more honor than I want to talk about. And let's look at our stats. Our stats are pretty, pretty good, guys. This is a... Uh, this is a pretty solid rogue. I would say this rogue is playable to gladiator or rank one, no matter what. If you have skill and like you can you can play this type of character to rank one. Uh, you're gonna have 314 resilience, which is amazing. Your health is a lot. Your your dodge chance almost 34 percent, which is actually pretty good. And then our attack power is 2181. We're at eight percent hit. 34% chance to crit. Our haste is low, but who cares? Armor pen 650. This is a good rogue. This is a good build. Um, I know there's a new enchant that comes out for your helm, so we don't really need it because we're running mostly PvP gear. But if you do end up having other stuff, you can run Glyph of the Gladiator. Uh, it's just going to be 18 stamina and 20 resilience. It comes from Shattered Sun Offensive. 
Uh, another runner up too, if you do Shattered Sun Offensive, you could also farm, I think it's the Exalted Neck. Uh, I forget what it's called. Um, it, it just doesn't exist. Here we go, Shattered Sun Offensive. You could also get this neck instead of that neck. And I believe if you're Aldor, it's like 150 or 200 attack power. So this proc is actually pretty sweet. Um, it's something that I remember as a kid being really good. So, you know, obviously the kid version of myself thinks it's good. We'll pick it up. So if you do end up doing dailies every day, this is another cool little pickup. But if not, it's it's pretty easy just to get the hardcore M neck piece. So let me uh, fix this. I'm even, I think I had a mystic. I'll, I'll go over that later, whatever. Okay, next set. All right, so this is pretty much like my bis without Warglaives or Handed Deceiver. Uh, this is just what I'm gonna aim for on all my characters, depending uh, what comp I'm playing. So we're gonna go four piece Brutal. So no matter what, if you wanna go and rock the PVP chest instead of the helm, it doesn't matter, you can swap those if you have the tier six helm, that's fine. Um, even the shoulders, if you have the tier six shoulders and you don't wanna get the Brutal ones, it's all gonna be very similar. Um, so you're gonna rock four piece Brutal, four piece tier six, the main ones, obviously, bracers down here, belt, boots, and uh, picking up a hardcoreum band, hardcoreum choker. And yeah, this is just going to be my basic set, guys. So if you can get this, I think you're sitting pretty. Uh, you can choose the weapons you like, obviously. I'm going to be going with maces and swords, most likely. Maybe an undead claw. I don't know. But uh, it's all going to be pretty much the same. So let's go to the next build. Okay, the year is 2022, and human rogues are still playing with hypervision. Yes, I know. Um, Blizzard, please ban hypervision. I'm over it. I don't care. I don't want to play with them. But if everybody else uses them, we have to have a set for it. And that's just how it is, guys. So this is just a build that if you're playing double DPS as a human and you're getting ran over by other humans because they find you, let's talk about it. So we're going hypervision, hardcore, same thing. Four piece brutal, really important. Obviously, cloak of unforgiven sin because I'm killing, you know, that last boss easy. This guy won't have war glaives, so we'll say hand of deceiver. Uh, hand of deceiver is freaking awesome. Uh, if I can get that, I'm super happy. Like you can gem it some resilience if you want. I like to keep my resilience around 300, especially when I'm running double DPS. As you can tell, my health's about a thousand lower than a full set of gear, so it's pretty important that you keep resilience up a little bit too, especially if you're playing rogue feral. Um, so we got four piece brutal. I'm still gonna rock Slayer's belt, Slayer's boots. We're going hardcoreum, Band of Eternal Champion, Shadow Song Panther, of course, because we want that stealth, which is why I do improve stealth in my cloak, Medallion, Brutal's Edge. So this is just gonna be my stealth build, I guess you could say, as human. If other humans are running this and hypervision, I will be running this. If we could all though just sign a piece of paper stating we're not running hypervision anymore. I would be stoked. So let me know in the comments if that's cool with you guys. And maybe we just start off season four with no hypervision. All right, let's go to the next build. Okay, so another build you can run. Uh, this is going to be with leggings of a mortal knight. So if you see these legs, they're insane. Look at the attack power. Look at the agility. <laughs> Honestly, the stats are nuts. So some would say that trading the 6% in Hemo is worth it just because you're going to be sitting at 2,400 to 2,500 attack power, depending on how you gem and you're just going to be pumping. So this is something that you can consider. It's everything's going to be pretty much the same as my other builds. It's just going to be with leggings of a mortal knight. Um, you need the four piece brutal set. This really, like I said, I hope hypervision isn't a thing anymore because you still won't be able to run these. So if you're a human, you're still stuck with hypervision just because it puts you at such a huge advantage. Um, but yeah, if everybody stops, then please pick these up and just let me know how they feel. All right, let's go to the next build and last build. All right, so my last build is obviously going to be an orc because I'm an orc. And yeah, so we got four piece, four piece. Uh, this is kind of the move. It's just what I want. I'm running chest as well. We're doing cloak of unforgiven sin. I'm going to be doing 12 agility instead of increased stealth just for damage. Uh, obviously, I'm assuming I have war glaives on an orc, which I should have a main hand, but I hate myself. Uh, yeah, we're just rocking Slayer's boots, surf footed. We got 24 attack power, minor run speed. Uh, we're going enchanting because we don't need engineering on this character. Night's eye. Boom. Look at my stats. 2,330, 2,334 attack power. 10% hit. 33.8% crit. Jesus. Crazy dodge. This is the build. This is the build I want on all my characters. If I'm running with a healer, 
Um, this is the build you should be aiming for, but if you're playing double DPS, this is kind of the boring ass build we got to go with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will have a link to all five of these down below. You can pick and choose what you want to aim for. Uh, personally, I'll go over one last thing. I do like the top end damage of the mace, obviously over the sword or the claw. Not like I said, I don't think it necessarily matters, but to me it does. So, and if I want a high end hemo, I don't, I don't want a low end hemo, but the swords are cool. So I just want to leave that out there. Um, if you can get hand of deceiver, uh, keep trying to get war glaives, of course, but hand of deceiver is pretty freaking sweet. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video. Make sure if you want to be a part of the network, become a member. You get exclusive access to our members discord where you can ask me personal questions. We like to talk about pretty much anything. It's just kind of like an open community. And then every month at the end of the month, I do like a VOD review with somebody. And I'm actually about to go over that with someone today. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thanks again. Peace.